Hey, what's up, coach? In this video, I'm going to talk about how to run a basketball skills training session. My name is Coach Nick Aldero, and if you're looking to connect after this video, uh, you can text the word GROW to 732-908-2315, okay? And that is the best way that we can connect. Um, or you can schedule a call on, on the link below that's uh, in the description. And usually I put it um, in the first comment as well. So you are a basketball skills coach or trainer, whichever word you want to use. And, and you're looking up how, how do you run a session? What's the, what's the most efficient way? Well, the answer is there really is no most efficient way. It's whatever you really find, um, most valuable to your players. Um, you know, what do they need to work on? Um, and, you know, what structure works for you and for them? Um, you know, more so for you because they'll adjust. But, like, how are you able to flow into the next thing where, you know, where it makes sense? Um, and it might not even make sense. You might just be jumping from from topic to topic. So here's here's one way to do it. Like, here's what most people do. Um this is what I normally do, and I, at times I change it up. So first, let's say stationary ball handling, okay? Um, you know, keeping the feet still, working on controlling the hands, and, and working a specific pattern maybe. Maybe you're using a chair to use the offhand. Um, feet are still, right? And then maybe you go um, footwork, and I'll say it's semi-dynamic, right, which means like, um, you're doing it in a, in a small space where, you know, they're not attacking the rim yet. They're not shooting yet and they're not covering the length of the floor yet. Right. So it's kind of on the move, but it's really, you're doing it in like their little like five by five or 10 by 10 area that they're in. Right. So you're adding in the feet. Uh, maybe you're working on a footwork pattern for control. Okay. I'm not going to go into specific things like, like drills and stuff. Cause those, those are everywhere. But um, this is just like the format. Um, by the way, let, we're saying like, let's say you have an hour, okay? So this is like a 60-minute session, all right? So next, you might want to go into finishing. So maybe you want to take that footwork segment and apply it into your finishes. So you're, you're taking the, the, the semi-dynamic footwork, and now after the footwork, you're attacking the rim, and you're working on whatever whatever type of finish you want, whether it's a, a dribble step finish, first step, second step, outside hand, inside hand, spin finishes, whatever you want to do. Again, just the format. Um, you can kind of figure that out from there. So you take the footwork, you apply it, and then you apply it with the finish at the end. Okay. Now let's say we're we're going into some shooting, right? off the catch, off the dribble, whatever you want to work on that day. Maybe you do, maybe you, again, you go back to that theme of the footwork that you have. You can always go back to themes and add in skills. I find that to be really, really uh, efficient because they get a lot of reps with whatever uh, footwork or skill that you want to work on that day. So maybe you take that, that footwork and you're going shooting off, you know, off the dribble, um, but you're focused on that footwork, Right. Um, and then, you know, you can add in some competitions where, you know, first to this number wins or whoever gets the most in two minutes. But you're still focused on the technique, but you're just adding in a little competition or maybe they're just competing against their partner. Now, let's say we're going um, now we want to compete like a little bit, but we still don't want to like play five on five or three on three. So maybe you go now with a little competition, some type of one one on one drill where you're maybe you're giving the um, the offense the advantage, like blind one-on-one, -on -one, for example, defenders facing away from the ball, put the ball on their back. When they rip it, you know, they can go and they got to score within three dribbles. So this is one way to break it up. And then maybe you have like a, you know, leadership talk somewhere maybe like in the middle of that. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six things. Maybe you spend 10 minutes on each. Right in a sixty minute uh, sixty minute session. Okay, I hope you found this of any value. If you're looking to start your own basketball training business, text me the word "grow" to seven three two nine zero eight two three one five.